Hey everybody, we're back. Now we're gonna see what happens when we look the ghost in the eyes. Not good things, apparently. So, we got a little hiss. Uh, good sound design right there. Turn it up just a sec. Smidge him. So, notice how he flew back right there. Staring right into my eyes. What? I can't move. Come with me. Ah, big brother, don't. My body, my legs, they're moving on their own. Big brother, stop. Because bottles and beads fell out of Satoshi's pocket on one of the floor beams. Sniff, 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 sniff. Uh. Sniff, 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 sniff. Big brother, come on. Can move again. Okay. Gas pant. He's gone. Sniff. Are you alright? Yeah, sorry though. Yuka, looks like your charm's been taken. I don't care about that. Just don't die, big brother. Don't die. Wow. I won't. I'm sorry. Come on, let's blow that nose. Hick, hick, snug, splorch. And with that, we triggered that. Now I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be able to respawn him, and if not, um, well... You'll see me in just a second, then. Is he back? He is not. Okay, then. See you in a little bit, guys. Alright, we're back, everyone. Now we're gonna see what happens for realsies this time. This again. Staring right at my eyes. I can't move. Come with me. Ah, big brother, don't. My body, my legs are moving on their own. Big brother, stop. Spirit of the little boy stares at you with wide eyes and mouth gape. He has no tongue. Big brother! Ugh. It was only a few short seconds between the moment Satoshi fell and the moment he hit the ground. There was really nothing he could do prevent to prevent it. After all, he had no control when he... It, inched his way towards certain doom, and he certainly had no control once gravity took over. Without even time to gasp at the grim realization, he impacted upon the uneven floorboards below, and could feel his innards exploding outward. Yet he remained conscious for someone, somewhere between a couple seconds and a minute before his life officially came to an end. Staring up at the hole in the ceiling, just as his vision began to dim for the final time, he saw his little sister Yuka, who had jumped in after him. Bam. Ooh. 
red screen. So even though that that ending's a bitch, uh, watch me. It doesn't have a. I don't, it doesn't have a. Ugh. I speak right now. So that was wrong in number one. Uh, that's what happens when 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 you look the boy in the eyes. In Repeat and Fear, there is no picture or anything descripting that, but I like that ending. It's a bit... Oh, what's the word? It's a bit... Tragic. That's the word. Because Yuka falls in after him, trying to save him. So, I'll see you in wrong end number two, guys. See you soon. Hey, everybody, we're back for wrong end number two. Now, I'm not going to front you this is probably the most boring ending in the game but here we go we step on the green skulls and we die HP is getting low return to a lit candle as soon as possible bam 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 how much do we got left come on tell me you can do it two bam Big brother. Game over. Wrong end number four. Bah, 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 bah. Yep, what did I say? Pretty boring. That's all there is to it. You walk on it and you die. <sighs> hmm. Not very interesting, huh? Alright, see you in the wrong end number three, guys. Alright, hey everybody, welcome to wrong end number three. Look what happens when we go outside. We see a ghosty, and we're gonna go touch her. Give it back, give it back. Once again, excellent sound design right there. Huh? Where? It must be nighttime. I must have woken up in the middle of the night again. Probably drank too much juice before bed. Ah, stretch. Since I'm up oh, anyway, I guess I'll wake up Big Brother and bug him a little more, a little bit before I go back to sleep. Ominous snipping. And maybe drink a nice big glass of peach juice too. Yeah, that sounds good. Hear that? Huh? Give it back. Give it back. What? Give it back. Kinda sucks that the screen is black for this one. Another area that repeated fear did better. The spirit of a little girl appears right in front of Yuka's face, glowing bluish white. Where the left eye should be, only gaping empty socket can be seen. Hmm? The disquieting snip snip sound grows upper louder as the spirit draws near and presses the item she holds and presents the item she holds in her hand. It's a pair of sewing scissors. She's brandishing them dangerously close to Yuka's face. And her blades are dull, rusty, and caked with blood. There's little doubt that the following events are going to be unimaginably excruciating. Give it back. Give it back, my eye. Give it back. Girl repeats her futile demand over and over again, bringing the blades closer and closer each time. Can't move. 
big brother. Give it to me. No, big brother. Ah! Yuka's left eye offers little resistance to the ah, to the blade. Her vision runs red as waves of unbearing agony. She instinctively rolls and pokes the scissors out. Misery follows. The sound of a foreign object scraping against her cranium echoes through her mind mercilessly, not from her eardrums, but directly to her brain. No other experience could possibly have prepared her for this. It's all the suffering of the world cones sighted in this single moment. The pain grows exponentially worse with each heartbeat. Yet the trauma of the experience makes the heart beat faster, creating an endless cycle. It's not something you can adapt to, it's not something you can ignore. All you can do is thank heaven above when you finally die. Game over. Chapter 3, wrong end number 2. Yep, that one's probably the most memorable. Uh, wrong end, my opinion. It's soup like consistency line gets used a lot with this game. Well, it's remembered well with this game. And. Bam. Alright, uh, that's wrong. We only got one more left at this point. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright everybody, we're back. Remember how I said we're missing six name tags? I think I know how to get them. If I don't talk a whole lot, it's just because my audio is doing something weird. I'm hearing static right now and disordered music. Adds to the atmosphere, doesn't add to the, the skeletal corpse. Uh, with bleached white bones sprawled across the floor layer, lying on top where the remains of clothes is a student ID name tag. Masato Municipal Brother, Senior High School, Akihiko Kugazaraka, oh, I don't know. Akihiko, or something like that. What about over here? That's a cabinet right there. Four dead children here. Ooh. That's a special corpse right there. I don't know how to get it though. Mine's very tall individual lying on top. Student ID name. High school Hato Sudo. Based on the size, it appears to be a middle schooler, student ID tag, name tag on the uniform. Haruko number three, junior high school. Yuki Surar. Suraruta. I don't know, I can't pronounce these names to save my life, apparently. Up and at him. And down we go. Ooh, who's this? 
into a female student who clearly suffered a blow to the head. Her skull is cracked open. There's dried blood everywhere. Broken glass as well as her ID name, tag name. Bakidan Senior High School. Class 24, Ami Urabe. Hmm, do you know this person, he's a me? I feel like you do. So, we got this room again. TV static. So, we got everyone except one. Well, dang it, are we missing two? Ugh. <sighs> I may have to do some research here in a little bit. I really don't want to, but I may have to. Let's make sure this isn't two corpses. I don't think this is two corpses. So that was the first one we stumbled upon. All right, we're back and now we place Burps. Oh my goodness, I've wasted so much time, guys, and I'm so tired. Since hand print out with some text written on the felt tip pen. Daddy, I want to be back in this, I guess, so distant future elementary school class 403. Your elementary school. There are even elementary schoolers here? What a wretched fate. On earth did you get, she get caught up in this mess? So I, does it just say daddy? So, so it just says her, says her name. And I gotta read the name tag list. Cause I'm good at stuff like this. Alright. So I guess we'll start with these guys. Amazaki West Senior Private School, Amazaki West Prebiot Sire Her, Hiroko Mawura Withered Away Due to From Hydration, Tako Mor Takayuki Motomura, Amazaki Suicide Upon Discovering Little Sister's Lifeless Remains, that's... Okay, so... She died of dehydration, and he committed suicide whenever he found her. No, stop it. Dang it. Dang it. I'm so bad at this. So we got Lexern High School, Kari Kimura, wounded during earthquake, bled out, weathered away from de dehydration, weren't related. Mikanura say, school cracked open with blunt instrument, probably from the killer. Ryoko Fujiwara found note with little sisters remaining starved to get death while mourning. Oh, you know what? I bet that's the guy who brought the li who brought his little sister. Okay, where is that? Okay, back it on. This is uh Kizumi's high school. Er, slashed open with a blunt, slashed open with an edge weapon, blood out. Skull cracked open with a blunt instrument. And let's find that little preschooler. Kind of withered away from dehydration. Alright, I think that's enough right now. I'll see you in wrong end number five, guys. Here we are, guys. Last victim's memoirs. Now, dang it, I can't read it. Looks like I'll be dying soon.
and I'm gonna try to keep my finger steady just just this one last time. Bleeding never stopped and I'm getting colder and colder. I can barely see. In the end I never did find one another here unless you magically pop out of the shadows real soon. We never will. Miss Uhura, I've always idolized you. You've constantly surpassed me anyway and one step ahead no matter what we're doing. I keep telling myself at point at some point, I'll turn a corner and you'll be there. But I knew better. My brain knew better. My brain rejected the notion from the beginning. If I should dream in death, though, then I know I'm going to t turn and see the next corner. I've been praying for you this whole time. We can be up on each other like... Oh god, my head. Ugh. Wave of nausea and unbearable despair suddenly washed over Satoshi's entire body. The next thing he knew, he was standing in the corner of an ex- His movements weren't his own. It was as if his mind was disconnected from his body with no perception of surface gravity or motion. After a sudden dip jarring his senses, he realized he was moving purely on impulses with no direction or control. Perhaps he'd been taken in by the curse and the way of negativity that permeated the space far beyond the spectrum of human understanding. Shell the body might as well have been a twig snapping around the wood like a wind. A twig in the wind storm. Ah, ah. Without warning, his very sense of self had been been completely destroyed, leaving him in a virtually lobotomized state. He's best left untouched. For this dying message, the curse that is carried in certainly had no trouble at all dismantling the essence of what once was a boy named Satoshi. Oh, and that's it, everyone. Oh, I am so ready to go to bed. Alright, thank you for watching, everyone. That's the last wrong end. I'll see you soon.